Welcome to the Right Club Podcast, where the focus is on helping you, the real estate investor, advance to the next level. And now let's join this week's hosts and share ways for you to customize your life. Let's compare. Here's what I'd like to do. What was, where were, where were Canadians investing most, say, three years ago? Um, before the pandemic and before the, you know all the changes here, and where are they investing, or what? Where are they buying now? Has it has there been any change, or is it pretty much the same as it was three years ago? So I would say uh, pre-pandemic. Um, let's let's start from the beginning. First of all, it's important to say that Canada represents most of the foreign nationals investing in the U.S. Um, it's always head to head with China, but always a little bit above representing a little bit more um, uh, of the uh, of, of investors. Um, Canadians love to go anywhere that is just south of the border. So I would say um, uh, a driving uh, distance. Um, that's so we can see, uh, uh, you know, Michigan is very strong, um, uh, especially these days. Uh, we can talk about how the lower markets are um, uh, surprising us with uh, with higher um, rental incomes these days. Um, but we have the big ones. So um, so we have around three uh, percent in California, another six uh, percent uh, in New York. Uh, we have uh, 3% in Hawaii. Oh, Canada oh. loves Hawaii. Very surprising. Yep. Uh, we have a, um, a higher number. I'm sorry. I can't. It, it, it's not it's not really off the badge, but a higher number in Arizona, of course, when we go with our, you know, our golf gear and, and heading to Arizona. Uh, to those uh, uh, gated communities and 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 uh, and you know uh, obviously the the good weather, and forty two percent of course would be Florida. Wow, forty two percent. Forty two percent of Canadians, yes, um, of all Canadians, forty two percent go to Florida. Um, so I speak in general, uh, not only um, uh, rental investments, but also for snowbirds. Um, that are really moving um, as a you know an occupied owner investment uh, for six months of the year, October to April. They're gonna be in Florida um, in their own you know second home. Uh, this is something we're we're still not touching in, at Lendai. We're still aiming ourselves for the rental investment only and non-occupied owner. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we're operating in all of those um, states where Canadians go, except Hawaii. Uh, this is um, a, a place that we're looking forward to be, but not yet. And uh, post-pandemic, uh, we can see how, you know, when the f- especially with the situation right now, like I said, the market is tightened up, interest rates are going up, we're going into a correction, followed by the by a recession in the US. And that's where investors are also starting to look at a short term rental, more than a long term, uh, you know, to increase, um, obviously, uh, profit, right? So, Uh, Florida, 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 again and again. Thanks for listening to the Right Club podcast, where the focus is on helping all levels of real estate investors advance to the next level and help you customize your life. Be sure to tune in next week at rightclub.com slash podcast or wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you get a few seconds, please rate the podcast wherever you're listening. It helps the show get noticed by others like you. And we truly appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe.